spaces. So basically, uh, this is the algorithm description of feature faces. Suppose that we have a set of C classes with n samples for each class. So the first thing we need to do is we obtain the global mean of all the images of all the classes. This is this is defined by mu, but ui is the mean of the images within each class. So basically what we are doing here is obtaining a variance a mat variance matrix which represents the scalar between classes. After that, we calculate the variance matrix uh, which give us the scalar within classes. So basically what we need to perform here is that for each class we are going to perform a difference between the image and the mean value uh, associated to associated to the class from where the image belongs from. Finally, uh, we need to obtain as in the agent phases algorithm a W matrix. This is a linear transformation again. So what we need to do is obtain the agent, agent uh, vectors and agent values that will allow, allow us uh, to maximize this uh, numerator. So basically this uh, value can be interpreted as the since this is related to SB and SB is the scalar between classes and SW which is in the denominator is the scalar within classes. What we are trying to do here is maximize the ratio of between classes to within classes scatter. So when we are trying to maximize a ratio like that, we are trying to maximize the scatter between classes and minimize the scatter within classes. And this is pretty logical. What we are trying to do is differentiate a lot different classes and put together as put as close as possible images that belongs to each class and is this is a very good uh, technique so uh, with fisher faces we get uh, a lot of advantages one of them is that uh, the fisher faces algorithm achieves greater uh, between classes color than principal component analysis which is using agent faces so in conclusion feature faces outperforms uh, agent faces and also uh, a feature faces is more accurate than correlation and agent faces so uh, now i will be presenting the experimental setup I use in the project basically uh, I work with three uh, with a different set of the images taken from uh, different databases three of the databases are standard databases using in face recognition research the first uh, of them is called the AT&T database which is this one the second one is the jail faces database which is this one and the third one uh, is the jail faces extended b database which is this one which considers a lot of uh, variations in elevation illumination uh, the jail faces considers uh, as you can see here a uh, variation in facial expressions and here we can find variations in illumination facial expressions uh, there are also difference in the head orientation. Okay, the remaining uh, database we're obtaining, first of all, uh, from some picture, uh, Facebook pictures uh, I took from my friends and I created a custom database of faces, which is this one. 
And uh, I also crop uh, the images from the jail databases. So I, I try to perform experiments when I crop the image and try to see the performance of agent faces and feature faces when I, I did that. And the results were pretty interesting. So the other two databases uh, were, were created uh, mixing mixing this database and this database. So the name of the new database is, is Mixed Faces. And the last database uh, is called Gender Faces. And it was used uh, to perform gender classification, as you will see in the results and in the demo. So this is the this is the face recognition algorithm using uh, to perform uh, recognition in still performatted images. The first step is define the database. So basically, we, we can use any set of pictures uh, from the a database I previously described. After that, uh, the algorithm will read the training images. It will read the test images. It will perform a training using feature faces or agent faces. I can choose any one of them, any one of, of those two methods. And the algorithm will predict the subjects in these images. images. Uh, finally, it will give uh, some measure of how, how, how successful was the prediction of the test images, and it will save the mean image and some agent faces in a folder. So in the demo, we, we are going to see that. This is uh, one of the main results of the project, which is a face recognition algorithm for videos. I think that is pretty robust and it works pretty good. I did some modifications to the general structure the structure, uh, especially, especially in the preprocessing of the phase before the prediction, because normally uh, the problem we have is that we are trying to match different uh, images with a different format. For example, the proportion of the head in the training images is. Uh, the background, it has a big background and the head is in the middle, but the image detected by the casket classifier uh, is almost focused in, in the face region. So we are trying to compare a face over a big background with a face focus in the face, with a picture focus in the face. So we can have problems here. And the, 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 normally the, the prediction wouldn't work very well. So what we did uh, was that I implemented a crop and aligned script of Python, which is able to which is able to align and crop the image to keep proportion to keep the proportion uh, and the matching between the image and the image from the database will be performed uh, much better in this case. Okay, so the first step is defines the define the cascade classifier for face and identification. So basically, basically we use cascade classifiers to perform the face detection. First of all, we need face detection, and after that, we can detect eyes. We read the database from train for training for looking to, in order to look for training data. After that, we train the feature faces or agent faces model. Uh, at the end, I, I found that feature faces uh, works much better. So this is the default method. Uh, the system will read the picture or a frame in a video, and then preprocessing starts. In the preprocessing um, actions, for the first thing we do is convert the image from the RGB color space to grayscale. And then we use histogram equalizations. Uh, after that, we detect the faces. And for each face, we need we perform this operation. For each face, we try to identify the eyes. If the system identifies the eyes, we crop the image according to the eye position. 
the h position and this is uh, pretty cool because uh, if it finds a head that is slightly uh, inclined uh, to the right or to the left it will align it or in horizontally and the the matching process will be will be done uh, more successfully uh, however if no eyes uh, are found the the system will crop the images according to a predefined height uh, to wide radio which was defined uh, based in, in the normal proportions of human faces after that uh, the model will predict the identity of face and it will show the accuracy which in the OpenCV library is defined as confidence and it will show the level uh, 